Right now, though, it's curtain up at a disused warehouse which has become a temporary home for one of the region's best-loved theatre companies. The stage at the Birmingham Rep is out of bounds for two years because the building's being revamped. But even the most unlikely settings can make a great theatre, as our arts reporter Lindsay Doyle has been finding out. Off-site, but not off-limits. The Rememberers, the first production from the Birmingham Rep, away from its city centre theatre. <laughs> She arrived, of course, yet with the voices in the head, was she heard nothing at all? A.E. Harris, a metal pressing company in the jewellery quarter, has given over a warehouse to the rep for the production as the theatre undergoes a major refurbishment which will link it to the new multi-million pound Birmingham Central Library. For 40 years, people have known where the rep is and they've, they've gone there and they know where to park their car, they know how to get the bus. So actually getting the message across that every couple of months we'll be in a different space. But yeah, our, our marketing team are spending a lot of time and energy in making sure that we tell people where we are each month because the changing nature is a very different thing for us. The Rememberers is a classic tale of good versus evil, written and performed by New Yorker Kenny Barraker through rap, projection, music and graphics. Because we're trying to bring you into a world, a post-apocalyptic world, we, they always imagined it being in some place other than the traditional kind of venue uh, setting. And the A.E. Harris building and Stan's Cafe has been, I think, probably the best place to kind of fit that into. It's a show which aims to draw the audience in, take them into a different world. It's an intimate space which adds to the experience, but warehouses can sometimes be a tad bit chilly. So, you're given a cup of hot chocolate and a blanket. Over the next two years, we can expect many and varied locations for the rep shows. Lindsay Doyle, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham. Now, one.